Thank you for the lovely date, Harold. What? what wait, whisper! Goodbye, Harold. What? D -d 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 uh, great! Look at what you two did! Harold, we didn't mean... That doesn't matter! Do you have any idea what you have done? First, my parents tried to show up and, and, and try to kick me out of my own home, and now, now I may have lost the girl of my dreams. <laughs> I, I I can't do anything right. I have a failure. <laughs> Wait, Harold! Forget it. He's gone. Oh man, uh, I didn't think this would happen. Uh, we gotta do something. Go away. I just want to talk. I don't care. Leave me alone. Come on, Harold. Is that any way to treat your friend? <laughs> I think I messed up. Whisper's not mad at you. But what was the whole parent thing? Come inside. My parents came to my house and tried to take over. Previously, they've used scare tactics and hate mail. They're looking for my grandfather's will. Huh? The one you've never even seen or the summary the lawyers gave you? The actual one. The one that supposedly got lost. They think it's in the mansion somewhere. Well, Team Dark and I borrowed GUN Tech to try and find it here. So I can say with confidence it's not anywhere in the mansion. Still, it's frustrating that these wretched people had the gall to try and search our home. But if you've never seen the will, how do you know all of your grandfather's things and his house belongs to you? I can answer that. The day before he died, he wrote the will with no witnesses save only the lawyer that told us about the event. The lawyer, a kind old pangolin named Mr. Tuckers, was told that when Harold was 15, he was to tell Harold orally everything his grandfather left him. Still, Harold's parents want the physical copy. Why? To destroy it. <clears throat> that way, no one knows to whom my grandfather left his stuff to, and by law it would go to his only son, George Hildeberg. <sighs> Leaving you with nothing. Oh no! Poor Harold! That explains why you got emotionally upset about Whisper leaving suddenly. That's... a part of it. I think I lost my chances with her. What? You told me the first date went well, though. Well, it did! And, and then the second date got ruined by peeping Toms! In retrospect, not Tangle's best idea. <sighs> doesn't change the fact I lost her. Uh, listen, Harold, you're overreacting. Sure, it may seem like it at the time, but I'm sure that she's not upset with you. She just directed it at you because you were there at the time. Sometimes when they're angry, people say things they don't mean, or don't intend to bring harm on another. <laughs> Can confirm. I'm definitely guilty of that. As am I. <laughs> Whisper is a sweet girl, and I'm sure she'll call you back and apologize. Tangle is her BFF, so the fact she convinced Amy here to go peep in on your date is a breach of trust. Like, when I accidentally figured out the code to your safe? After I told you five times not to try, and accidentally nothing, you intentionally wanted to figure it out. I mean, <laughs> good brain teaser. And you were grounded for five weeks. Learn my lesson. <laughs> and my point is that her anger is with her friends, not her date. At least that's what I gleaned from what Amy told me. Then why is Sally here? Because they knew you wouldn't open the door to anyone except me. We've got a special connection, Harold. Remember that one time in middle school, that one girl rejected you in front of the entire school? The day before the Valentine's Ball? 
She called me names a middle schooler shouldn't even know. I remember fondly. You stayed in your room for three days, skipping meals and classes, and refusing to talk to anyone. Not even Rouge could get you to open the door. I remember this was three weeks after uh, 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 my own, own rejection of you. Uh, sorry, I, I can't think of a better wording. No, no, it's fine. Well, anyways, when I heard about you not coming out and practically starving yourself, I hurried over and demanded you open the door. You opened it a few seconds later. I guess that's when we really bonded. You two were always like siblings, even when he had a crush on you. And I'll always love my little brother. <laughs> Sal, you know I'm older than you. Mentally, I'm more mature. Ah, uh, touche. But not by much. <laughs> You've grown up. I can certainly attest to that. Mwah. Oh, Mom. <gasps> you called me Mom. Well, I mean, you practically raised me. And I love my baby boy. I feel better. Thanks, guys. No problem, Harold. Sorry about spying on your date. Ah, it's okay. Just please don't do it again. I won't. Promise. Oh, hold on. Huh. I know. Uh, uh, hello, uh, this is Dr. Hildeberg. Whisper? Uh, hey, I... Oh, no, 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 it's, it's okay. No, no, d d don't cry. It's totally okay. Whisper, hey, 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 listen, listen. I'm not mad at you at all. I, I just wish you at least explained your sudden departure. Oh? Okay. Okay, that's why. Um, did, did, did you want to try again? Maybe, whoa, okay, that was fast. <laughs> When, when, are you, when are you free? T tomorrow? Are, are, are you sure? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. We, we can meet up tomorrow. Can I pick you up at your place? Cool, okay. S see, see you then. <laughs> what? I told you. Yay! He got a second chance! chance. Go. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, you're right. Now can I breathe? Nah, we're gonna stay like this for a while. Estranged parents and dating scares require a good five minutes of hug therapy. Doctor's orders. Funny, because I am the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> we all love you, Harold. <laughs> and I love you all. Uh, Omega, what are you doing? You are all having a hug fest. Query, why wasn't I invited? <laughs> 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 <laughs>